mutual respect between the power of both guys here. Whoop, air passes the mic. You bunch of inbreds want to see my team wrestle. Each and every one of you, shut your asses up and watch us perform. Do you think Air Paris' pants can get any bigger? I, I don't know, but I wonder if his ego can get any bigger. This guy is so full of himself. He's got these three young, up-and-coming wrestlers, Marky Mark, William Welk III, and John Phoenix, and he has convinced them that he can lead them to the promised land, can bring them gold, money, and fame. And I don't know if these guys should really be listening to this guy or not. Fair enough. I don't, I don't I think this team has much going for it as far as cohesion, as far as talent. Oh, yeah, there's plenty to spare. But William, William Welk, we've seen him ignore his tag team partners in the past. We've seen him do all kinds of things, not particularly cooperative with anybody, even on his own tag team. I think he's definitely going to be the fly in the ointment on that team. And as far as Marky Merck goes, a very talented athlete, a very talented wrestler, but he has always been a follower. When he first started wrestling, his ring name was Mark for Michaels, and he followed Rick Michaels around, he was his little flunky. Then he was one half of the underdogs, and now he's apparently, Eric Paris has got into his head too. Oh dear. Well, we have John Phoenix now in the ring, um, a man of some considerably high-flying uh, abilities, and I wonder if Ricky Noble knows the kind of pedigree that John Phoenix brings to this match. Well, so far, Noble seems to be able to do a good job of staying even with Phoenix, but we'll see if that lasts as the match progresses. Well, definitely trading uh, some of each other's, each opponent's best well, in the first opening minutes of this match. Boy, eight-man elimination match. What a way of starting off this edition of Wild Side, and it's Fight Night 2000. Fight Night 2000, and what a great way to start things off. And I gotta tell you, Silky Boom Boom and Adam Jacobs, the American males, they may be more popular than their uh, predecessors. Their predecessors being? The American males. Aha! Uh -huh. You may, in fact, be correct. Now, Noble has a full Nelson on Phoenix, but Phoenix hits him down low, causing Noble to release the hold. Oh dear, face was a little ankle. Well, take, well, we can scratch Ricky Noble from here. Boy, things happen so quickly here. Yeah, but notice Phoenix needed the assistance of Air Paris. And Phoenix is a guy who can get things done by himself. He doesn't need Paris' help. He doesn't need to be listening to him. But now Gemini in the ring. And seemingly none of, uh, no one wants to square off with them, but there's, they've sent Marky Mark in to be the sacrificial lamb. It's not necessarily so, but uh, we've seen Gemini, we've seen a lot of people keep up with Gemini after at least after a certain period of time. But out of Marky Mark and Gemini, this may be a new, a new combination here. Seems like Gemini is a little bit more concerned with uh, Air Paris and uh, William Welt than he is Marky Mark, and that would be bad news, bad decision. Yeah, you gotta keep your eyes on Marky Mark. He is a former tag team champion. As a matter of fact, he was led to tag team gold by a man on the opposite side of the wing from him, Silky Boom Boom. Oh, one big happy family. And now Gemini, the mysterious loner, we do know he hails from Battle Creek, Michigan. He may be one of the most underrated men in professional wrestling. And of course, he was in the same training class as what I consider the most overrated man in professional wrestling. Who, the American Dream? No, it's Zikowski. Rob Zikowski's the American Dream? Boy, I've been, I've been mispronouncing his name all these years, wow. And now Marky Mark picking Gemini back up. Looking like he's going for a DDT, but took some too much time. And Whoa! A variation on the slingshot. Well, very daring move that. Almost called that a, a slingshot Northern Lights. And now a side slam by Gemini goes for the cover, and just like that, the sides are evened up. Oh dear, Marky Mark's eliminated from the equation. Now we're down to the final six, man. And Gemini has designs on Mr. Phoenix. And I don't think John Phoenix is too particularly anxious to come in. Oh, we're, oh, we're doing uh, odds and evens. Whoop. No, they're not doing odds and evens. They're um, basically decreeing that William Welch III get his first action in this bout against Gemini. Oh, well, good. Well, he's, he's the, the third guy involved on that team. Just all the most appropriate. It's all a numbers game, isn't it? Well, there's a clothesline with authority. Yeah, and there's a kip up with authority by Gemini, and Welk doesn't see him. Well, a lot of authority involved in this match. Boy, and a drop kick right on the money, right on the chin of William Welk, number three. William Welk, the third.
And oh, once again, Air Paris interfering, clipping the legs of Gemini. Paris is so fast and able to get Gemini out of here. Boy, how often do you see Gemini get pinned? It's a rarity to be sure, but it was not done legally. Again, that's the second time Air Paris' team has scored a pin on their opponent due solely to Air Paris' interference. It's got to be so difficult to referee a match where there are eight guys involved, especially when you have somebody with the quickness of John Phoenix and certainly the quickness of Air Paris. The guy is a blur. And now Bulldog on well, Paris trying to come in. And oh, Phoenix just got knocked off the apron by Silky Boom Boom. Well, man, no tag team partners for William Wilf as of right now, as Phoenix and Paris try to regroup. Exit, William Wilf. Trump buster by Boom Boom eliminates Wilf the third, but Phoenix goes right to work on Silky. And now down to Paris and Phoenix against the American males, good and proper. And this is a match we've seen before on Wildside Television, but we have yet to see it reach a true and final conclusion, and it looks like we finally will. We very well might all be at this in the elimination format. We have a rare chin lock, courtesy John Phoenix on Silky. Boom, boom. These four guys know each other obviously very, very well. This is going to be a real interesting contest, particularly from this point on. Drop kick out of nowhere by Phoenix. Goes for the quick cover, but Silky able to lift that left shoulder up. Tag made to Paris, good tag teamwork in so far by Paris and Phoenix. Now that it's put down the two of them, double drop kick. Paris going for the cover, again, only a two count. Maybe we should alert the Cornelia air traffic tower that uh, Paris, what is that, there is no Cornelia air no. traffic tower. What am I thinking? No, the crop dusters just, you know, watch out for one another. Both of them. Silky Boom Boom over the top rope. Good thing we're not having NWA rules in this one here. And now Adam Jacobs occupying Andrew Thomas, enabling Phoenix to choke out Silky on the floor. Boy, and, uh, Air Paris telling uh, Adam Jacobs that we're number one. Now putting the boots to Silky. Adam Jacobs has he even tagged in in this match yet. I don't believe he has. No, I don't believe Adam. Adam Jacobs is truly a fresh man when that's out of the ring, and right now Silky needs him in the worst way. Another double team. Oh, two low, low drop kicks right on the money. Oh, and Silky's toast here. Oh, good heavens, not. Managed to roll his shoulder. A lot of life left. Well, maybe not a lot of life, but still saw him left. And Silky Boom Boom. Maybe not a lot of life, but just enough life to kick out, and that's all the life you need. And now, with the knee and the clothesline. Sends Phoenix flying in midair and down to the canvas. Unfortunately, Silky Boom Boom was down there as well, and Silky Boom Boom was facing the wrong direction, not realizing his partner is behind him, not in front of him. Come on, Silky, spin around, other way. Come on, Silky. Well, now he sees Phoenix occupied by him and awake to the eyes by Phoenix. Changes the momentum of this bout once again. And Phoenix decided to get rid of Adam Jacobs in the process, just in case that Silky's able to make that tag. Obviously he's not, but still, oh, and a DDT right on top of the head of John Phoenix. But what's Paris doing? Paris jumping up on the chair, he's walking across the, oh! He was gonna dive on top of Jacobs, but Silky met him with a tackle and took him down. I tell you, I think Air Paris is reinventing the concept of professional wrestling every time the bell rings and he's involved. Paris is completely loopy. He's nutty, but he's also very successful at what he does. I, I may think he's a jerk, but hey, he's a talented athlete. And now Phoenix in the ring. What? Ladies and gentlemen, Silky Boom Boom has been eliminated via count out. No, oh, Silky Boom Boom's been counted out. It's an unfortunate line of occurrence, but I pray that happens. So now it's Adam Jacobs against both Air Paris and John Phoenix. Things don't look too promising for what's left of the American Males. No, you have to realize Paris and Phoenix beat the Boogaloo crew in a non-title match recently on Wildside Television, and now it's the two of them against all that Adam Jacobs all by himself. Oh, oh, good heavens. Boy, that's a backdrop for the ages. 
things are not looking promising at all for Adam Jacobs. This, I don't think it's going to be his night, but I do hope I'm wrong, but he doesn't appear like it. A valiant effort by the American males along with their partners, Gemini and Ricky Noble, but it looks like they are about to fall to the team of Air Paris and John Phoenix in the ring. What kind of tag is that? With a foot? Or are we testing the waters here, aren't we? Well, Thomas, Andrew, referee Andrew Thomas letting it go. A, a little leniency displayed here by the referee. Well, but it certainly adds to the exciting of the match and it adds to the match that the fans want to see. I guess it's certainly worthwhile doing it. Well, Adam Jacobs managed to kick out, kick out of that pin. Didn't really think he had it in him. Lo and behold, he did. Jacobs, well, as we said, he was the fresh man. And so he's not as worn out as the others were. Those. Only a two count there, and Phoenix meets him with a close line. Boy, definitely, uh, John Phoenix has been obviously uh, capable of quite a lot of maneuvers, but his lariat is quite extraordinary here this evening. Not a very strong or powerful man, but he's got enough speed behind him to make up for that. Now Jacobs whips Paris over the top. Phoenix went for a hood of Catalano, but Jacob drops it down, only gets a two. <laughs> Didn't think Phoenix had that in him. Lo and behold, Phoenix is proving us all wrong. I didn't think I could pronounce Hula Kanarana, but I did. Oh, low blow by Phoenix. Let's see that Latin blood you have, Al. Right in the cojones. I don't care where your Latin blood is. Oh, you're talking about them. Oh. Oh, beautiful suplex into a bridge, only two. Not, not, not beautiful enough, apparently. Is Adam Jacobs still with a little bit more life and a tag to uh, uh, Air Paris. Boy, things look really, really grim for Adam Jacobs right now, do you have to admit? I don't think he's got a left live left in him for the rest of the match. The Nashville, Tennessee native Air Paris going to work on Jacobs. Quick tags made by both men, and now some sort of double team maneuver. Paris lifting him up. Oh, and dropped him almost like crunch first on the head of Adam Jacobs. End the story. No! Managed to roll his shoulders still. Still something left. Jacobs has just enough life in him to kick out of that, but can he withstand another double team? He ducks the clothesline. Silky just tripped out past, pulled him outside. Roll up, one, two, three. Oh, I didn't even know Silky was still out there. John he was playing Phoenix possum, smart guy. Now it's one on one. It's Adam Jacobs and Air Paris. And Air Paris is counting the ring lights, even as we speak. Uh, oh, check, check that. I think now Paris is playing possible. We're down to one-on-one. -on -one. The better man, will it be Adam Jacobs or Air Paris? Super kick by Paris. Boy, right on the money, right on the chin. Adam Jacobs, I think he's out cold. Nope, Jacobs nope. Is, is out, but Paris is, no, is worse for the wear as well. Slowly going over to Jacobs, and instead of pinning him, he's picking him back up. Boy, I've never seen Air Paris move slowly ever in my life. Spine buster, no! Kicking out of a spine buster, good heavens! What is Adam Jacobs made of? That makes at least a dozen two counts in this match in the last five minutes alone. And interestingly, Silky Boom Boom and John Phoenix have not left ringside. No, well, after their involvement in this match, they want to see it come to a conclusion. They want to see their partner win. Yeah, that's true, and maybe they also want to get involved as well. Jacobs pushing Paris off, comes up with that Alabama jam. One, two, three. Yes, he did it! Adam Jacobs pulled off the impossible like a rabbit out of a hat and managed to beat a very game Air Paris. Adam Jacobs! And out of those eight men, Adam Jacobs emerged as the man in that match. We knew he had it in him, but I was kind of surprised it took the course and it did. That sky high leg drop from the top rope spelled the end for Air Paris and now he's in the ring throwing a fit. He's having conniption fits in there. Phoenix shoving referee Andrew Thomas. Hey, they're on the loser's end of the opening bout at Fright Night 2000 and there's a whole lot more to come. Stay put. <laughs>